not yell so much or maybe stop saying words altogether. probably get back there. I mean, if you need a break, that's fine, but I really can't do this without you. I don't know if we can do this at all. Even if I make things right, they're just gonna fight again. Hey, little fellas. Well, that's okay. You can come out. What was that? Poor things. There isn't enough food here for you. Oh, and you're freezing. I'm gonna take you all home with me and get you all hot cocos. How do you feel about book clubs? I don't get it. This was supposed to be the most beautiful valley in all of Equestria. What happened? What's that? Oh. Uh-huh. Twilight! They know what happened here. What? Stop! You have to listen to me! Every pony free! Free! Fluttershy! You have to tell them! Ugh. It's a lot harder to freeze an army of ponies than just six of them! Ugh. Before! keep fighting, there is something you should know. Long ago, there were two best friends, Grapplefield and Piles McColt. When they found the valley between the Smoky Mountains, they knew it was something special. So they made a promise to each other to protect and preserve the valley for all its adorable furry inhabitants. But they disagreed on how to go about it. Grub wanted to start by planting crops so that every pony would have something to eat. But Piles thought it would be better to start by building a shelter to protect them against the cold and wind. The two ponies were unable to come to an understanding, so Piles went ahead and built a shelter anyway, exactly where Grub was going to start his farm. Grub was upset, so he tore down Piles' shelter so he could plant his crop. They kept fighting back and forth until it turned into a feud. The valley suffered from the constant destruction until finally the Hooffields and the Colts moved to separate mountains. Even then, the valley and all the animals in it continued to be caught in the crossfire. You see, by fighting, you're destroying the very thing that brought you here in the first place. So it's time you both put your differences aside and come together. If not for yourselves, then for the sake of these cute and cuddly guys. Oh, shut. We never meant to hurt you, little critters. Yeah, we're sorry. They say they accept your apology. Uh, Princess, uh, you can unfreeze us now. <laughs> oh, right. Ma Hoopfield, we promise we won't fight you no more. Us two. Except we promise not to fight you. I suppose it doesn't matter who's right. We're both wrong. Well, that's one thing we can agree on. This is wonderful. I am so proud of you two. Oh, thanks, Princess. Though I would just like to point out that I was the, uh, First, to admit I was wrong. That may be, but I promise not to fight first. That counts for more. Oh, yeah? Oh. 
Oh, all right. We don't have to speak animal to know what y'all are saying. Truce. Truce. <laughs>